or my last tip so make sure to pay down your debt okay what do you mean like pay down your debt if you don't have any money at all What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, incredible realtor with EXP Realty in Central Florida. Today, I'm gonna show you how to save some money fast for your next mortgage or if you're planning to buy a property right now and you don't have any savings for that next property that you are planning to buy, make sure to watch this video and I will give you some good nuggets how to save money fast. But before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't done so and also make sure to smash that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends because you know why sharing is caring so without further ado let's jump into it so number one tip that i'm gonna tell you how to save some money is make sure you have a proper planning you need to plan you don't want to think about yes i'm gonna save some money and let's do it tomorrow straight away yes you can do that but first thing you need to do before you step something you need to plan it first planning is important it's the same thing when you are planning to buy a property you cannot just say i want to buy property tomorrow or if you want to sell your property you cannot just say like i want to sell tomorrow and tomorrow my property will get sold straight away no it's not gonna happen because you have some proper planning if you don't have a planning properly you know you won't achieve your goal so number one is you, you need to plan how much you need to save per month how much you need to save some money and also what is your goal for the next six months 12 months how much you need all right so by then if you have a proper planning you need to write down or if you don't have to write down we all have cell phone wow. or mobile phone put everything there what you need to do you you know if you don't like writing like me i hate writing sometimes but you know we always have this mobile phone put the planning in there there's a lot of apps that you can use for application for saving and all that stuff you can use those because they are helpful to save some money okay so remember that one number one is planning let's go to my tip number two so tip number two for you is live below your means what do you mean like live below your means now so live below your means it means like you don't have to buy that you cannot afford let's say for example if you want to buy something if you can pay it cash straight away without having some or borrowing some money from your credit card that is good because you can afford it you don't have to buy something that you cannot afford it for example if you want to buy a new cell phone right and you have your cell phone working right now but your old cell phone saying like oh this is old this is iphone x and now we are on iphone 14 or 15 for five years not updated my phone so what you need to do is if the phone phone is working you don't really need to buy a new phone why it's just because like it will cost you money if your phone is working properly why you need to buy another phone tell me the reason is just because it's outdated well it is outdated but you can still use it what the purpose of the cell phone is to call text and what internet or sometimes you need to take some pictures or videos I fully understand that but if your phone is working there's nothing wrong with it and then you don't really need to buy that phone or cell phone or material or what you want to buy but however However, this is what I do when I spend some money for my personal use let's say this cell phone is broke and I cannot use it anymore I want to buy a new cell phone for let's say a thousand dollars so to make sure that I can afford a thousand dollars I will times that one into five it means like I should have at least five thousand in my bank account to afford this cell phone and I will pay cash straight away for a thousand so it means once I have a five thousand dollars in my account that thousand dollars is get off on my five thousand so I only have four thousand I still have some money saving on my account as well as I got my product that I want to buy so that is what I do how to save some money because otherwise if you don't have money in front of you to pay that not property I was gonna say property this cell phone or any materials that you want to buy and you're gonna get the credit card to pay for it what will happen every month you know you need to pay interest rate if you cannot pay on time what will happen they will get your money plus the interest rate and the late fee for that particular payment correct so you don't want that because once you have like late payment what will happen is it will save that into your credit report so once you buy your property and then once you get your credit report run your credit report what will happen is they will see like why you have like so much debt in your account why you're not paying on time because you bought this phone which is you don't really need it right so think about that one number two remember live below your means right so let's go to my tip number three is bank your race so let's say if you are working right now and then your employer raise you for let's say five dollars per hour because you're doing so good in your job right so what happened is like if you are getting paid for five hours extra 
extra or more per hour so you need to compute how much you will get paid for the rest of eight hours so you need to times eight times five is let's say 45 then 50, 50, 50, 50. that's correct i'm not really good in math but i have to do that one so you have 40 dollars extra on that particular job so you what you need to do that 40 dollars extra you need to bank that straight away you don't have to touch it sometimes what people think is yes i have like extra 40 dollars on my mind i have like extra five dollars or forty dollars every time that i work for eight hours so what i will do is i will spend some more because i have extra forty dollars in my hand or not even your hand if you're not work yet you will get it right so what will happen is instead of that forty dollars bank or save in your bank you will spend it straight away without having or touching the money in your hands so that's not a good thing so make sure that whatever you get something you think about save that first in your bank or if you don't want to save in the bank put somewhere that you cannot see that you cannot touch so that you will forget about it all right i hope that makes sense so let's go to my tip number four so tip number four is make sure you stay vacation a year all right so a lot of us wants to go somewhere for vacation holiday go here go there i want to see this i want to go there i want to see the world all right everybody wants to see the world even myself right i want to see the whole world but the question is can you really afford it do you have some money to pay for it do you have like times five of the money of whatever the cost of that vacation let's say the vacation per person will cost you two thousand for a week do you have like ten thousand to have in your bank just to pay that two thousand away so you still have like eight thousand in your bank you have that money so think about it right if you can have staycation here in the united states or in your country you don't have really to go somewhere else or out of the country to pay for it like so much expensive just because like you want to go see the world if your goal is to buy a property right now property first before seeing the world all right what is important you want to go somewhere else or you need a roof on your head think about it all right so that's my tip number four let's go to my tip number five tip number five you need to cut off all your extra spending this is only for short term all right let's say you have like extra payment on spotify right and you don't use really much of spotify you use youtube like now you're watching my youtube right make sure to smash that like button so when you are doing that one think about it if you're not using your spotify and you have something to substitute it cut down that monthly expenses because that monthly expenses it ah, it's easy. What? so that monthly expenses even though like it's ten dollars a month five fifteen or twenty dollars a month it counts in all right everything counts so whatever you have in your direct debit or your monthly payment you need to cut down everything to make sure that you have some saving for that money right all you need to do is go to your bank in your mobile app how much direct debit or how much debit that i have every single month all right so you can see how many direct debit you know you are taking care of let's say if you have a rent money or for your car payment for your spotify for your cell phone whatever you don't need in those particular direct debit or that expenses cut them off because otherwise if you don't cut them off it will keep recruiting that money monthly and you know you're just wasting money if you don't really use that service or that particular payment so you need to think about it all right or my last tip so make sure to pay down your debt okay what do you mean like pay down your debt if you don't have any money at all so what you need to do you don't have to pay like all of your debt straight away all you need to do is just get your debt like minimize your debt and also get your debt like how much is your cheapest debt that you need to pay let's say if you have a debt of instead of like five thousand dollars and also you have like a debt of like hundred dollars so all you need to do is go from the smallest to the biggest all right so let's say for this month or in about in three months you need to take off your hundred dollars debt within let's say in a month or two months or three months and then for those hundred dollars debt so at least you don't have to think about that small debt and then once you accomplish that small debt you need to go to your next to the smallest debt that you have so let's say if you have hundred dollars debt and you have to clear that one so that's that's it pay that one so what you need to do next is after that hundred dollars if you have like a 500 debt and then you need to clear that 500 debt within like let's say have a certain goal for that one for five months or three months or two months and then once you're done with the 500 debt and you have like a thousand debt and then get another goal or how much you're gonna pay for that 
debt for a certain amount of time. So that after that five months or six months or ever or even eight months or twelve months, you are completely debt free. And then from then, instead of like paying your debt, you can save your money into your bank rather than paying debt. All right. So that's the video for today, guys. If I miss something or if you want to add something in this video, make sure to comment down below what you thought or what you want to add in this video. And I really appreciate that. And also, if you stay in this video until this end, comment down below savings so I can see how many people who watch this video. And also, if you stay in this video until this end, I really, really, really appreciate your time watching my video. So once again, thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you on my next video. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on guys this is RJ Bautista incredible realtor <coughs> what I'm gonna say one for you ah let's do it again part two what?